In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to import and export collections and variables with Postman. To get started, I'm going to take a look at the Postman public workspace and I'm going to show you what it looks like to export a collection and some variables such as environment variables and global variables. Here I'm interested in this Postman Echo collection. To export this collection, I can just click on these three dots and then click on export. Exporting a collection can be downloaded as a JSON file, which you can share with others with or without signing into your Postman account. Exporting this collection allows you to import these files back into Postman or use them with Newman's command line tool. Remember, exporting a collection is a snapshot in time. So if you're interested in getting your latest changes, make sure you export often. I'm going to go ahead and click on export and then have this file exported into my local computer. Similarly, I can do this with environment variables. I can find a environment variable that I'm interested in, click on the three dots, and then export. I'm able to then have that exported into my local computer. Similarly, with global variables, I can click on the export button at the top right-hand corner and also have that in my local computer. To import these files, it's now easier than ever. If I am interested in importing a single file, I can always click on the import button and I can drop any file or folders into this import box. To do that, I can take a look at a file I have available on my local computer. So if I was interested in importing my echo collection, I can just go ahead and drag and it should be imported like so. I can import an entire folder the same way by just dragging that folder into my import box. And I can now see that my global variables, my environment variables, and my collections are imported. There are other ways to import. I can always paste a curl command, raw texts, or any URL. To take a look at what that looks like, I can look at this curl example that I have here. If I was interested in importing a curl request, I can always copy this curl request and then paste that in and automatically I can see my request in my Postman workspace. Once I click on save, I can create a collection or add it to a collection. So if I was interested in renaming this as curl example, I can create a new collection and save that request like so. If I was interested in importing raw text, I can go to a collection that I have available and I can copy the raw text of a collection and just paste that in and I can see that Postman generates a collection automatically. Similarly, if I was interested in importing with a URL, I have an example for a the Swagger Pet Store URL. I can copy that Swagger Pet Store JSON URL, paste that in, and I have the ability to import it either as a collection or as an open API file with a definition and a Postman collection. Let me go ahead and select OpenAPI 2.0 with a Postman collection, and you can see that once I have that imported, I can not only get my collection with all of my requests, but if I go to my APIs tab, I also get my API definition as well. There are other ways to import as well. Uh, some of these ways include importing with GitHub, importing with Bitbucket, importing with GitLab, and other sources such as Azure, AWS API Gateway, and Azure API Management. For example, if I was interested in importing with GitHub, I can authorize Postman with GitHub, 
And then I can go ahead and select an organization as well as search for a repository and the branch that I'm interested in. Here it's finding various different collections for to import in my GitHub repository and I can go ahead and select import and I can see all of these collections are imported successfully. I hope this gives you a great understanding of how to import and export with Postman. It's now easier than ever. Go ahead and get started with importing and exporting collections and variables today.